Took Dave four years to build this roller skate. Upholstery is hand tools. They're yeah, made out of beetles' eyebrows. Oh, good cork, York. This is no time to be facetious. He has millions of people waiting to read about us. He's got static in his attic, completely sunk. I'll have to include a dictionary for this story. Ah, we'll make it into a movie. I was a teenage carburetor. Somebody get this bag of bacteria lost. You will be particularly interested in a theory I have evolved on the basic principles of locomotion. Using, of course, the Euclidean system of mathematics and naturally interposing that with the Einstein theory of relativity. I have come up with proof positive of the transcendental nature of locomotion and combustion. You don't say. There's another one I want you to see. Meet Tommy Ivo. This dragster of his has taken over 300 trophies across the country. That's quite a heap of metal. He holds two world's records. Hmm. What are they? World's fastest unblown gas engine. Turned 154.37 miles an hour. 
I also got the record for the world's quickest single-engine gas car with a 9.16 seconds elapsed time. I got top gas eliminator at the big United States Fuel and Gas Championship meet in March 1959. You designed it yourself? Yes. What were some of the difficulties you had to overcome? Well, wait. It had to be light. The lighter it is, the easier it is to get rolling. Uh, some of the things I did to make it light was instead of using the normal 92,000 Shelby tubing, I changed to 049,000s and used chrome molly for strength. I narrowed the rear end to 24 inches to cut down on axle and axle housing weight and changed the front end suspension from spring to torsion bar and mounted the rear end solid. Ho, 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 hold it a minute. <laughs> the traction problem was taken care of by mounting the engine high in the chassis so that under acceleration the weight would transfer from front to rear. I put motorcycle wheels on the front end to cut down on weight and rolling resistance, and I bored the engine bigger and stroked it longer by welding on the crank and returning the throws off center. Well, I guess that's about it. Well, this is all very impressive, kids. But my job is to get both sides of the story. Uh-oh, he's hitting the delinquency bottle. It's positively libelous and slanderous what they say about us. We are earnest, well-meaning, dedicated... Cut it, Dave. The average hot rodder spends a thousand hours a year on his crate. Now that doesn't leave much time for the average kid to do much delinquicizing. Uh, how's my halo look? It feels pretty tight. I'm sure you'll be wanting some pictures. How's this? What do we call it? New type shock absorber? The whole of Mac, well, you just ain't a Marvin syllable. Hey, there's the newest thing in radiator cap. How's it look? Well, they look fine. That girl's burning rubber. That's Lois Cavendish, one of the hottest riders in the clubs. Hey, Lois, come over here. Meet Mr. Hendry. Hi. Hi. He's doing a series of articles in hot rodding for one of the magazines. Nice to meet you. I better get back to my camp. Stick around. Ixnay blue boy trouble. My dragon wagon's lagging. Might be the transmission. I didn't know girls went in for this sport. It's disgusting. It's so unfeminine. She does all her own work on her tub. Won't let anybody else put a hand on it. On her, either. <laughs> Back to work. Let's talk about dragging on city streets. Well, maybe six or seven percent of the kids are hot chewers. You know, cats who drive for kicks. But we're an organized club, and in a month we get our charter. In order to qualify, we have to take the pledge. No poker runs? O.T. out. No chicken runs? Not those who stayed with the club. Some of them wouldn't go along with the group, so they dropped out. Mind if I make this my uh, headquarters uh, while I'm covering the assignment? Oh, no special treatment. I'll be just like one of you. Not you. That would be too much. You're welcome, Mr. Henry, but you're catching us in the middle of a jam. Well, there may be no Zenith Club in a couple of weeks. We're out of bread. We run out of the root of evil, and the landlord's kicking us out on our ambitious plans. Till then, you can be an honorary member. Come on, let's have the initiation. Oh, we'll buzz around the barrel on you. You got me on that last one. Let's buzz around the barrel. Well, it's like, uh, let's grease it. Grease it? Well, eat, man, eat. On me. <laughs> Let's see your license. Who? Me?
club members? Yeah. They're pretty good. Well, we thought they could raise some scratch for us by throwing a few dances. But we don't even have the loot to run a spot. We've even got our own built-in trio. Show him. Sure. else, Mr. Hemingway? I can dig the male of the species, but the female hot rodder baffles me. <laughs> <laughs> How do your folks feel about your passion for mechanics, uh, working on cars? Oh, they're hoping it's like the measles. One day I'll wake up and it will have disappeared. They hope. <laughs> See you. See Bye. You. Here. No kidding. I thought it was the Midnight Express pulling up the driveway. You know, it's a minor miracle every time that girl gets home in one piece. <clears throat> Hi, Pops. I didn't see you. Now, what did I look like? The wallpaper? Weren't you supposed to go over to Mrs. Brady's this afternoon with your mother? Do you know she wobbles at high speeds? Who, Mrs. Brady? <laughs> no, silly, my crate. I was talking about Mrs. Brady. Now, why didn't you show up over there? I forgot. One of these days, I'm going to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. Let's do it now, Daddy. I have a real problem. What is it? My fuel system isn't working right. I'll have to take it apart. I ought to take you apart. <laughs> it's time you were thinking about other things. Like what, men? You'd rather I tinkered with them than with the motor. Or should I spend my days discussing the latest dirt with the cats? Like who's going to have a baby and why? You're approaching womanhood. I have news for you. I've arrived. Uh, well, tell me, um... Has your mother ever talked to you about, uh, well, you know about that, uh, well, you know about that. And you'd be amazed at how much I taught her. Well, got to go clean up now. This doesn't seem to be a den of iniquity. Ah, uh, what's your language? There's a lady present. Bonzo's maturing. He's beginning to tell the difference. Uh, hit me all of a sudden. Uh, come on, I'll spar a few rounds with you. No rabbit punches, though. Oh, sometimes I get carried away. 
Next time you will be, for good. You've already been served the eviction papers? Yep. Three weeks from today, we'll be back where we started, on street corners. Huh? Is she your chick? Well, I'd like to think so, but uh, her heart belongs to popular mechanics. She prefers hot rods instead of hot romances. That's because I can handle cars easier. <laughs> Time for us squares to cut out. Rumble coming up. Tony Nita and her creep friends are coming. All right, all right, Tom, don't boil. This would happen when you're here. All right, now, just get out of here. I'll put so many holes in you, you'll sound like a piccolo in a good wind. Put that thing down, Dad, before you clobber your clavicle. That's all right. I don't need one at my age. And hurry up, or we'll tell the cops he left Texas without a passport. Put it away, Frenchie. Next time, I'll put bullets in it. What's the beef, Tony? No beef. Nothing to do, so we just drop by for a social type visit. Nice night for a ride. Go ride, then. Oh, I thought you'd join me. No runs in that set. Oh, yeah. New club constitution. No rumbles, no dragging. Lois didn't mind tangling with me this afternoon, though. She bugged me into it. That's not what the hound man thinks. Coming? Meet you at dawn tomorrow. Long fingernails at ten paces. <laughs> Say, that's a good one, long fingernails. This gal's got what it takes. If she'd only give it. Take your flippers off me, Seal. Take the stairway, creep. Banish! Man, you're cutting me down. I think maybe we'll stay. Come on, Passion Pete. I should have taken her on. No rumbles. Ice it, baby. Why don't you just tell the police they're annoying you? No, no. Some things have to be handled without the boys in blue. Suggestion withdrawn. The kids show more restraint than I would have at your age. Pat Stan on the shoulder. Not me. Look, let's change the channel. Why don't we show Mr. Hendry how well we dance together? You know, they're funny kids. Catch them off guard and they forget their hip talk. It's just a symptom of their restlessness. Whatever it is, you can't pay your bills with it. I feel a ridiculous urge to help them. They're really not asking for very much. Yeah. They could use all the help you could give them. I know what I'll call my series, too. This restless breed. How's that? Here she comes. Get away from that window. She's getting into Stan's car. He's a nice boy. I like him. Does she have to sit so close to him? Don't be so nosy. <laughs> he's, he's putting his arm around her. You know what you are? You're a peeping Tom. Uh-oh. He's pulling her toward him. You know, I better go. It's Labor Day tomorrow. He's kissing her. Why ought I kick that guy in the pants? Oh, stop that. That was a sweet, gentle kiss. I don't like him slobbering over my girl. She's only a baby. I was her age when you first started dating me. And you gave me some pretty bad moments, remember? Yeah. That was different. She's coming in. Well, get away from that window, dear, or she'll see you. And remember, not a word to her about Stan. Hi. You two smooching again? Look who's talking. Wesley. I think I'll hit the pad. I'm bushed. No, you don't. I want to talk to you. Again, about the birds and the bees? I thought we made that bit. You look tired, dear. I'd like you to take a walk. Okay. What's the score, Pops? Take a look at this. Implicated in this motorized duel was Lois Cavendish. Among the charges facing her are speeding, 
reckless driving and leaving the scene of an accident. I didn't know there'd been an accident till later. Besides, this is the first rumble I've had with the law. Uh, lucky for you, or they'd have run you in. Oh, won't this be lovely for Anastasia Abernathy? Well, what's she got to do with this? Anastasia is one of my best clients, that's all. She's coming to spend two weeks with us here. Won't it be lovely to have the paddy wagon come for you while she's here? I'm sorry, Daddy. I tried to shake her, but I couldn't. That's no excuse, baby. The fact remains you're abusing the privileges I'm making possible. I'll just have to take away those privileges for a while. Please, Dad. I won't do it again. Well, not for two weeks you won't anyway. I'm grounding you. No hot rods, no fancy rides, no Zenith Car Club for 14 days. I'm sorry, dear, but he's right. It's bread and water for me, I guess. Well, maybe you'll get to know your parents again. It won't be so bad, Lois. Anastasia will be here in a little while, and you know how much you like her. But the club has a big bash coming up. A bash? That sounds positively indecent. We're having a club party Saturday night. There's no reason she can't entertain at home, is there, Wes? Yes, there is. Wesley. Oh, I guess not. Then I can have the blessed event here? Blessed event? Lois! Oh, don't panic, dear. That's another word for a ball. Oh, for a moment I thought that... And this is a double-do, Daddy. After the he-cats go home, the she-cats nap. What? A slumber party. Oh, no, not one of those female all-night cackling sessions. All right, but part one of the double do will be thoroughly chaperoned. Sounds like Monday at the morgue. Well, that's how it's going to be. Two weeks on the slab, that's a real buffalo. I'll just take this brick and head for solitary. You're a couple of aces. Even though you don't quite dig me. That must be Anastasia. Anastasia. Oh, oh, nice to see you. Go and get my things from the taxi man. Tip him 13 cents exactly. He went through two stoplights. I'm fining him. How is Europe, Anastasia? Oh, they're very ignorant. Everyone yeah. speaks a foreign language over there. <laughs> My, how lovely you look. Quite bumpy. Have you hooked yourself a man yet? Oh, I've got one nibbling. Huh? Get him while the bait is fresh. I see you haven't sold my Flint Canyon place, Wesley. Sell it? I can't even give it away. Huh. You can put Alfonso over there. <laughs> May I take a look at her? Mm -hmm. Him, you screwball! Not her! How cute he talks! Incessantly, I wish I could make him stop. Make him stop! Make him stop! Go oh, nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Probably want a cracker? What the hell would I do with a cracker? <laughs> now, don't be rude, Alfonso. Let's show them how clever you are. Uh-oh! Here it comes! Make like a... Police siren. <laughs> Make a, a police whistle. <laughs> now, the riot squad. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, she's at the cop. Rock, brother. <laughs> How delightful. <laughs> it stinks. Will you creep take off? Beat it. Always say please. Naughty boy. Just for that, there'll be no treats. I'm off women anyways. Cover me up, Grandma. <laughs> She's the ginchiest. Hey, you dimwit. Do I have to prove it? Uh, Good night. <laughs> He's a despicable creature. Head for the woods. You must be tired, Anastasia. Oh, no, on the contrary, I'm quite wide awake. I think I'll practice a little. I'm just learning. Oh, no! Let me out of here! I used to play the harp until I found out it makes an excellent cheese slicer. Ah. Ah. Uh, quiet, everyone, please.
need the club combo recorded, Geronimo. <clears throat> we, uh, thought we'd come out for a breath of fresh air. Where'd you think you'd find it? Down our throat? so much during the 53 earthquake. You making any sense out of this? I like to think I am. Seems to be such a difference between their adolescence and mine. Well, it's a difference of degree only. You didn't have jets to cope with, or 375 horsepower automobiles, or even more significant, a world that seems on the brink of self-destruction. All these things make kids want to grow up in a hurry. They're so sharp. They know so much, too much. And that proves my point. They feel they have to become adults quickly. They're not sure there'll be a tomorrow. That's a depressing thought. There go those lights again. What's so fascinating about an unlit room? Oh, come on now. You're not that old. Sure. Then you may dance with me. Oh, joy, oh, rapture. Do they have to dance so close together? It's like he's holding her up. Oh, stop grumbling or I'll send you to bed. Oh, uh, uh, Mrs. Cavendish, they're playing our song. Uh, shall we shake it? Well, you really don't have to, Bronzo, in spite of whatever my post is. Oh, it's not a chop, kitten. I purr you. Well, I'm not just making sound waves. Why, if you weren't jacketed, I'd move in. Because you're a dab. I mean, a real dab. Well, that last one did it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this dance is ours. Shall we? watching me like I'm going to attack any minute. Young lady, you'll just have to excuse me. Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. Having fun, Pop? Wonderful. When does it break up? Oh, the cat should be leaving in about an hour or so. Then we checks take over. The girls take over? We're having a slumber party, remember? Oh, my gosh, I forgot. <sighs> well, thank you very much, Mrs. Cavendish. I enjoyed it thoroughly, Bonzo. <laughs> Have we been behaving reasonably well? well? Not bad, except for the fact that the lights keep going out. Why do you ask? Well, it would be a little less like a jail if the wardens took a powder. She's right, Wes. Time to go. Thanks for letting me visit. Oh, it was our pleasure. Please do it again soon. Good night. I'll walk you to the door. This is a wonderful party, I know, because I have a splitting headache. I'll retire and play the flute. <laughs> Come on, Wes, let's fold our tents. And leave these dark-loving, fuse-blowing maniacs alone? Good night, everybody. Good, good night. night. Say good night, dear, like a good boy. I'm not tired. I say you are. 
Section 14 of their club charter. <laughs> Come on. What do you want? Just drop by to shoot the breeze. And we'll hop on it and blow. A study brook! Brock! Hiya, you, Parrot. Want a cracker? Here we go again. No, I don't want a cracker. I hate them. Take a walk, Tony. When we're ready. Tell you what. One dance with the hostess and we'll go. We didn't come here to dance. Speak for yourself. I don't want to start anything here. I'll dance with you, Tony. Whoa! The blood will flow! Let's go, Casanova. You go. I like it here. You had your dance, Tony. Now get out of here. We'll carry you out. I said, come on, Tony. Ah, murder! Wow, look out! <laughs> hey, here's a new record that's supposed to be just great. Crazy, oh, what is it? What's it? Charge! Oh, go! sleep with my eyes open, biting my fingernails. How, how could anyone sleep with all that racket going on? I thought this was supposed to be a slumber party. When do they do their slumbering? They don't. That's half the fun of it. That's logic for you. They get together to sleep in order to stay awake. It's fun. I used to do it. Where are you going? What do you think? I don't hope I make it this time. What do they do in there, anyway? Talk, of course. What did you say? Why are you standing there? Must have been sleepwalking. You better get back to bed. It's almost time to get up. What am I doing here? No 
luck, Mr. Hendry. I can see it in your doleful eyes. Talk to everyone I could. Every time I'd tell them it was for a hot rod club, they'd freeze. Thanks anyway. Dad, be no juvenile delinquents, and adult delinquents didn't help make them. Uh, you've been good to these kids. I came here to write a story, and I wind up adopting a club. Better call Lois. She'll want to attend the funeral. Oh, no. Stan, you know I can't drive. This is for you, Alfonso. Yeah, them trenches for burying. Oh, all right, I'll try. I've got to get to the club, Mom. I'm sorry, dear, but you can't drive. But my sentence is up at midnight. Couldn't you stretch it a bit? No, dear. Oh, that silly suspension, let her go. I'm afraid not. I know what. I'll drive her. But I thought you didn't drive. Oh, I'm sure I'll manage very nicely. If you tell me what to do. We'll take Alfonso along. He needs some diversion. Well, give me a night out and I'll find my own diversion. Hush, Alfonso. Wish you'd stop being so impolite. My, what a lot of buttons. Which one makes it go? First turn that key. Now step on that button on the floor. That one. Now pull the little stick down. Well, this should be fun. learn how to drive. That was a screamer, all right. That was a blast! Somebody bring him up! Shush, Alfonso. <laughs> you know like. I know like. I like. I know like. It's all right. I like. What are you going to do now? Scatter, I guess. Back into the woodwork. Oh, no, it's quite ridiculous. What is? I tell you, it's haunted. Who haunted what? Old John Abernathy the First. It's an evil place. The last woman who lived there was actually scared to death by a monster. Are you talking about your house at Dragstrip Hollow? Precisely. My Flint Canyon place. I myself have heard the rattling of chains there. Weird moans, terrible noises. Hey, if we despirit the place, can we use it? Oh, I wouldn't take that responsibility. Well, let's take a crack at it. I'll give them a hand. With a 40-foot monster running loose in the place? I'm an old hand at monsters. I used to cover the movie beat. <laughs> I have a heavy feeling about this. We shouldn't tamper with the unknown, the imponderable.
on. Somebody's playing games with us. This place is loaded with ectoplasm, isn't it? Looks like a nightmare factory. John's laugh. Let's go back. Now, there must be a logical explanation for that noise. Yeah, a big, fat, logical, supernatural ghost. Oh, I should never have left my cotton picking, cotton picking. Give me the key, please. Logical explanation number one. A piece of cloth flapping in the breeze. Just the same, I don't think I'm going to be happy here. Why are we standing in the hall? Because it's nearest the door, that's why. I'm going in. Hey, this is the busiest place. I have a feeling I've heard that scream before. That was Grandmother Aphrodite. How'd she die? Trying to spell that name? All in favor of leaving, say aye. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Who's got the candles? Oh, I do. Well, hand them out. Let's get organized. OK. Uh, Stan? Thanks. Uh, here. Dave? <laughs> you know, I used to think I was chicken. Now I'm sure. It's just an old house. House is a house, and a table's a table. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I've got to sit down. Just with the tractor. You're all in a state of high suggestibility. Relax. I'm scared. Button it up and lay down. <gasps> Don't say that. <laughs> Somebody light a candle. There's a perfectly rational explanation for all this. Ouch! What'd I do? What'd I do? Don't do it again. say I want to, but I will. What's happening? Nothing. I'm just taking the watch. Go back to sleep. No. I'll stay up with you. <laughs> I wonder if he isn't one of them. 
Fun of who? The weirdos who are running this place. Oh, freeze that kind of yak, Lois. Nothing. Go back to sleep. Right? Dreaming. I tried to cry out, but I was so frightened I couldn't. You're all wound up, Lois. Lois, there's no way of moving this fireplace. I'm scared. Mm. You go back to sleep. You need your rest. I dreamt I was an 18-cylinder jet motor. It was wonderful. You should have seen my drive shaft. I'll wake you if I need you. What's the matter, baby? Bad dreams? Don't worry. Dave will protect you. Couldn't find a thing. I'm sure I saw another room when that fireplace spun me around. I'm not denying there was something here. I just don't think it was supernatural. Well, it hasn't bothered us since daylight. It might have taken a good look at Bonzo and died of fright. <laughs> Maybe he only works at night. I have an announcement to make. After due deliberation and consultation with my inspiration, I feel prepared to say that I will be ready to unveil Amelia tonight. Unveil Amelia? See here, young man. Well, Amelia's the name of the car I've been working on. Oh. I'm going into town. Any reason we can't have a formal opening tonight? No, the place should be ready. And the other kids are coming out today. Oh, what's up your sleeve, Dad? I think a spook ball would be appropriate. Oh, that should be a swinger. What do we do for costumes? I'm going to bring some back with me. You girls can improvise some others. Uh, why don't we send somebody in town to spread the word around? Hey, we could charge admission and raise a few bucks. You and Rhoda should be able to drum up a crowd for tonight. Well, if Rhoda goes, who'll do my work for me? See you all later. You know, there's a man with a plan, man. Oh, he's writing something. Hey, ho, Malvolio, let us to work. Malvolio, Act Two, Scene 27, Shakespeare's Twelfth Night.
fun should start soon. Do you mean we can expect a visit from the Zaki spirit who's trying to scare us out of here? Uh huh. You sound like a doomed fool. How come I got jailed to you, old Biddy? Old what? Old Buddy. Biddy. Hey, hey, cats, cats, a special treat. Jimmy Madden's gonna sing one of his hit records, Tongue Tied. Hey. Jimmy, yeah. give it to him. Yeah. I'd like to tell you, baby, that I love you so. I'd like to whisper, sweet talk, why the lights are low. But what is in my heart, I guess you never know, because I'm tongue-tied. You got me tongue-tied. Yeah, I guess so. We're going over this house from top to bottom. Well, what are we looking for? Our ghost sanctuary. Anything you'll be sorry for. <laughs> Run along now, quickly. 
do to get you off my back? Well, we could pull hair and scratch, but I've got a better idea. Let's get into our cars and go someplace where it's nice and quiet. You're on. Go outside. I don't want the others to know. I'll change my clothes and be with you in a minute. secret room somewhere. Well, we've been over every inch of the house, Tom. Where have you been? I went for a ride. Dave said Nita and her friends disappeared about the same time. Did you take her on, Lois? I had to. I'll pay the club fine for infraction of the rule. That doesn't go far enough, Lois. All right. I'll tell my dad about it. He'll probably ground me again. I'll drive you where you want to go. Anyways, I don't think they'll bother us anymore. You know, I haven't had one good dance with you tonight. <laughs> what we've all been waiting for, presenting Dave and his magic crate. Ladies and gentlemen, let there be silence. Uh, don't get too close. You'll give her claustrophobia. She catches cold easily. You see before you a mechanical marvel, a machine that has a soul, that thinks for itself. Oh, brother! Amelia, do you hear me? I dig you, master. Oh. Oh, it's a fake! It's a fake! Shut up, bird, or I'll turn a piston on you. Wait till you see what she can really do. To whom shall we give the honor of the first ride? An excellent suggestion. The first writer will be Miss Anastasia Abernathy. This I've got to see. Goodbye, pal. It was nice knowing you. But I don't drive, David. You don't have to. All you do is tell it what to do. Oh, I must share this honor with Alfonso. I'll sit this one out. Get that crazy pigeon off me. Pipe down, you mechanized idiot! Stop quarreling, you two. All right, just tell it what to do. Start your motor. <laughs> if the house is haunted. Is it? The house is haunted. Will you show us the ghost hideout? No. I command you! Yes, master. Look out. Here I come. <laughs> I knew it. Keep an eye on the exits and don't let anybody out the door. Now for the best costume awards. Everybody takes his mask off.
Steve. Leave me out of this. I knew I'd seen you before. Of course you've seen me before. I scared you to death. To death the day the world ended. You shivered when you saw me in the sea creature. Phony! I knew it was a phony! The shame of it. The indignity. They didn't use me in horrors of the Black Museum. After my years of faithful service, they just discarded me. What picture did you work in? John? <laughs> he won't be back. Rock! The rock and roll jam's got rid of him. Do something, you squares! Rock! Hold it up! Well, hiya, Polly. 